And um, you know, we're we're lucky that we're trying to push forward our medium so quickly. Um, but you know, we do have to remember that, like, you know, at the end of the day, like, um, I totally forgot what I was gonna say. Thanks. Well, well, our, uh, <laughs> our, well, I know. I feel it's okay. I mean, you're you're one of the good guys. <laughs> you're you're doing the good work. Well, the thing about this industry is also, um, as as Arnie mentioned, it's very young, and now that it's sort of being taken more seriously as a form of art, not just you know interactive entertainment, but it is something that needs great storylines, needs great characters, and needs to, to be more engaging than just gameplay, mm -hmm. that's when we're going to see better fleshed out characters. Because right now, it's just, you know, it's a young industry still, and sure. we're still figuring it out. And some people don't even think of video games as art, so you kind of have to go over that little bump first. <laughs> And then when people take it as a very serious medium, then you'll see it become fleshed out altogether. And, and right. to be honest though, sometimes I just want to be a badass, because sure. like yeah. video games yeah. are my escape. I, I remember how I was going to end my thought, Yay. which was, Justin, which was, um, you know, we're a young industry. We're struggling with narrative to begin with. Like you're struggling with how to deal with narrative themes and learning how to have that language both visually and within our storylines. And I think as we start to figure that out in a way we can do it effectively in games, you're going to see sort of that level of complexity in characters that will make it okay not to be a badass, mm -hmm. but also be uh, an area where we can have a badass as well. Just like in movies, you know, you have the full range of characters. Sure. Absolutely. Cool. So we'll go to the side of the other room really quick. I, uh, <clears throat> I've been a member of Score Hero for the last uh, three and a half years, and I've been to a lot of uh, rock band tournaments and, and Score Hero to get, get together. And um, what's interesting is I've also been a member of a division member in the PMS clans, Call of Duty division. And what I see in Call of Duty is by far, in public matches, by far way more um, harsher in, in tone and uh, more prevalent than I see in the rock band. I see almost no gender problems in rock band and rhythm games in general. Um, I get, I tend to not, no one ever says anything mean to me or anything. Uh, when I go on Call of Duty, oh my god, <laughs> there's a lot of like really horrible things people said to me that I probably shouldn't say here, but um, I just wanted to ask why you thought that Call of Duty or certain games were much worse than other games in terms of the propensity or harshness of the language use. You're not, you're not murdering people in rock band. <laughs> You've never seen me shred. <laughs> it's also a very large audience. I mean, there, there are people that don't play other games, but they play that. And, uh, you know, I, you put that many people in, in a community together and there's, there's going to be a lot of... Also, if you play Rock Band with Abby, she's going to say some shit. <laughs> <laughs> she is, is competitive. That is true. Sure. We'll but no, that's, that's, Thank that, you. I think that, that's a valid thing to bring up. And um, <laughs> I think a lot... Uh, someone already mentioned it, but I think so much just comes down to education. People just need to be... It's not... I don't, I don't think people believe so strongly in what they say on the internet. I think it's people react, and you can just react instantly. Um, and I think if you can educate people, like a good example is the word feminist, which is like, because of assholes like Rush Limbaugh, it's become like a bad word in our society, which is retarded, which that's also a bad word. So I just... <laughs> uh, Pope, before you finish, I have just been informed that we're at time. So uh, <coughs> I will let you finish. And then if you have more questions, we'll all hang out so you can all come up and talk to us and give us your cards and tell us your names and we can all chat and high five and chest bump and do whatever. And you can bring Pope booty shorts. <laughs> so yeah, finish, well, finish Eric Pope, take us out. Yeah. Good, this is a great point to wrap up on guys. Um, example of the word feminist, if you ask one of, if you ask a random person if they identify them, if a random male, if you, or even females, because this has come up in my, in my family even, if you d uh, uh, define yourself as a feminist, I feel like a lot of the times we're like, no, no, I, I don't know, I'm not a feminist. And then if you, you follow that up with, uh, that's fine, uh, do you believe that uh, women and men should have exact equal rights on every single thing? Like, yeah, <laughs> duh, of course. And they're like, that, duh, you're a feminist. You believe that men and women should be equal, you're a feminist. That's it. Not, not, and not just men and women, pe people in general. Like, you, you, can't, you can't say that you're against racism and then say you're not a feminist. So anyway, um, come up, talk to us. Thank you all so much for 